Okay. So, 250 became market cap. They added liquidity. They used the new tool where you can't pick it up with an ETH deployer. They add liquidity in the same transaction. It's a contract creation, and then they snipe it as well. It's all done. Same transaction. So, basically, if they don't snipe, if their snipes fail, their contract isn't created, blah, blah, blah. So, you can't, you can't front run in that case because the same transaction is programmed to fail if their snipe fails. So either the snipe works and they add liquidity and they get all the bottom tokens via sniping or it doesn't work. Dude, all these plants, they're new. Remember uh, in the summer when I showed you the, or the spring, these plants hadn't grown that hard. All this water, I have no idea. Are they releasing it from the top? Is it man-made or are they just dumping water from the top to fill the creek? Is, was there a new ordinance? I don't know. Oh, there's a dog there. Come on. Come on, Zeus. Nature's crazy. Oh, my friends. Actually, I don't know if they're, they're my friends. Did you see any snakes today? You did? No snakes? Oh. Let's see. Did you see a snake? No. Oh, okay. Are you looking for a snake? No, I'm trying to stay away. I, I saw a snake uh, last time, and a man over there saw a snake oh. under a rock. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's maybe when it's warmer. I, I saw eight snakes this summer. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Crazy, I grabbed the wrong pants. Oh, a bee. It's good to see a bee around here. Honey bee. Okay, so Hydra, yeah, sniped up. So you can't snipe before the contract creator, the team snipes all the tokens for liquidity. It's fine, it's the way it's supposed to be, right? The team gets all the tokens. They don't lie about it. They're like, oh, look, the team sniped all the tokens. You know, they distribute them to influencers, Coles. So Cole is just another way of saying influencer. Uh, I have no idea what coal stands for, but it's like when DeFi, the word DeFi, what the hell was DeFi? Decentralized finance. It took me like a year to figure it out. By then I had missed the wave of Wi-Fi, Ave, all the good coins. Uh, maker and yeah, I missed them all by the time I figured out what DeFi was. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. A day just like this, a place just like this. He got taken. Again, the odds are against any dog to be bit, but still, it's a calculated risk. Oh my. It's not going up there. Faster, faster. You gotta go faster over those bushes, over those grasses. Come on. Yeah, that's enough. I won't go further. I was actually, last week, I was gonna walk through those bushes, but I won't do that. Where's all this water come from, man? No rain, no snow. I don't think it's a leak. Could have been a water leak, but. I don't even remember going through the bush. Did that tree fall? So, yeah, Hydra pumped. The earliest you could have sniped it was like 1 million market cap. If your scanner was able to pick up uh, liquidity right after. But ETH Deployer, they don't pick up liquidity that way.
So again, you, you need a new type of scanner or telegram bot for that. I have, haven't found one yet, but uh, you pick it up, someone pays the contract in your Alpha Hunter, Gem Finder, Shitcoin Group, Meme Coin Group, and boom, it gets sent to uh, around 1 million market cap was the earliest you could have got in the second block. So there was a 40% tax, so that's actually like 1.8 million market cap. Uh, I had a friend, special shout out to Billy. He bought around uh, one and a half million, so 2.8, 2.7. He's pooping there. He can't be pooping. Come on, buddy. Come on, little guy. Yeah, and it, uh, it sent, it actually peaked around, I think 12 and a half million. This is fully diluted. Real market cap's about 25% that. Then it dipped back to 6 million. Bounced again, of course, to, no, actually before it went that high, it, it dipped 6 million, bounced to 12 million, 13, 13 million, and then, Dipped back down to 8 million, then bounced again to 12 million. But again, this is just TA. They said TA doesn't work on shit coins. It does. A little bit. It's a pretty interesting price action there. Liquidity is actually real, which is interesting. Liquidity is almost like 1 to 5 market cap. So I'd say real market cap right now is 2.5 million. Liquidity is. 600k or 500k so really good for that one uh, i took a kind of a gamble on it five eighth gamble hoping i double or triple the meme pump here hasn't really happened banana wicked right below seven dollars again and bounced to nine now it's at like 775 again so we had the high of 1340 and that was about it so again it, it hit my first target but I'm still left with a third of the bag or half the bag because I did sell a third at $9, a little too early. So I talked about Hydra there. What was the other topic I said I wanted to talk about in part two? Uh, friend tech. Gotta talk about that. So, oh, I mentioned the DWF trade. DWF actually sent on BSC Floki because Floki was has good liquidity on BSC. Whatever reason, the team had more Floki on BSC, or they wanted to hide it. They figured more wallet trackers wouldn't pick it up. Not a lot did, but the Binance deposit address on BSC for Floki. Do they support both? But they sent about 260k to Binance. And of course, it sent Floki about 10% from 0.4016. Wait, they, they have a thousand Floki traded, so like I'll also say 0.0164 to I think 0.0181. So basically, a 10% pump on Floki, which is really nice if you ape there. You could have aped. Uh, Slippage isn't that great with like 1% slippage. I think $500,000 on futures or on Mexi futures. So you could have got a great position there. So maybe sold for 30K, 40K, 50K. I don't know if there's that G Gen. The most tree capital traders that are tracking that wallet, they made like 5K to 10K. Other people took like baby positions and made one or 2K. So. Again, you weren't sure it was going to pump, but I just because alts are pumping and Floki hasn't done much. And it's one of those meme coins where people always hop on board, like I think in June. I don't remember the month, actually. It went 3x uh, wallet tied to GCR. Not sure if it was him or just associated at one point. Uh, bought a bunch of Floki, like 200,000 and it went 3x. Speaking of wallets tied to GCR, another wallet, Calcium. Calcium went 3x from 25 
0.025 to 0.075. Nice SPX 6900. Did like 3x from his first buy at 0.033 three or four weeks ago to 0.1. So nice 3x. So again, even if the wallets aren't GCR, but you track these whale wallets, it's really good because the whales tend to believe in the coins because when the, the season is right, these coins will, will bounce hard. And like SPX 6900 sort of replaced MOG. MOG market got, cap got too high, around 25 million or whatever the peak was. But SPX, that got down to 1.5 million. Of course I missed it because I was on friend tech. It's hard for my mind to associate between this play, this play, and that play, because I don't take notes, I need to start taking notes. I've said for five years I need to take notes. So you keep track of all these plays, you follow your notes, your notes give you the, the alpha. If it doesn't work, then screw it. Okay, we'll move on to new alpha again. Uh, there are certain groups and certain leaders, so like Tree Capital is one of those groups where they say something and they get enough people that agree, and they can pretty much determine what's gonna pump or dump. Uh, it's different because Tree Capital doesn't create coins. They just sort of <clears throat> push news or decide if news is going to pump or not. It's in between. Um, but usually the Tree Capital traders know, like, what came first, the chicken or the egg. Tree, Capital's, tree Capital traders know which trades are going to pump us and which trades won't dump most of the time. And others are just gambles. And that's why uh, if you're body, like an auto buy type, AI news trade that Otto Mugabe and Karen BWE News are building. They're uh, pretty successful. Not entirely successful as the human trader, but still. Uh, that's why Karen has a backup. Uh, he copy trades. Uh, good news traders. So, Karen AI has both factors. The AI factor and the copy trade of the good news traders. So, again, undefeated. Karen AI is undefeatable the grind you can't beat the grind you can't beat the tech you can't beat the money so grind technological improvements botting coding abilities access uh karen ai doesn't actually code but uh, they have coders working for the platform and the third of course money if you have eight figures over 10 million dollars you're pretty powerful in terms of resources so that's pretty important so then brings me to my next point Tr ordinal so or what were ordinals ordinals were like brc20 sort of tokens built on the bitcoin blockchain that came about in march already was the first one already got sent to like 400 million market cap about 40 dollars a token at one point with the 40 or 36 38 on gate but sort of bled out to four dollars where it sits now then we had track, which is actually the second most popular ordinal. It becomes just because Benny was such a grinder, a great coder, a builder, a programmer for ordinals. Track peaked at, I think, 75 cents, about 15 million market cap. And now it's down to three cents, six million market cap. So, uh, then there was another something like TAP, the Taproot Network, TAP Token, that Benny from uh, Track also built. Remember, Track was the second most popular ordinal after Ordi. So another type of like tracking network for BRC20 type tokens. I don't know exactly, but TAP got popular and peaked at uh, like 18.2 million market cap, 9 cents OTC. And it fell back to three cents where it sits now. Six million, 6.2. Sorry, 6.15, 21 million supply. The powder in here, all of Benny's tokens are 21 million supply. So then on Wednesday, Tuesday or Wednesday? Mm, I think Wednesday. Yeah, because I was gone Tuesday at Disneyland. No Disneyland vlogs, sorry for that. But Wednesday, he launches a third token, third, actually fourth, Count Univ on ethereum and brc20 unif uh, it's actually like 10x on brc20 but there's no bridge it's down a bit it got sent like 3x and retraced in the last few months but anyway this i'll say like the third official token 
was pipe. So another network, it was actually Rune, someone, a programmer, said, hey, we can make these BRC20s cheaper, sort of like a layer zero or a layer two, L2, a roll-up type thing, but a different tech, but, but similar with cheap fees, a dollar per transaction versus what, a hundred bucks or 50 bucks, whatever BRC20s were to mint, $20 to $200 each, each cluster. So these, um, on the Rune framework, were only a dollar fee so pipe was launched benny actually used that tech to program the first token called pipe sort of the pipe network where other tokens could be built on pipe i guess and only a dollar each to mint so twenty-one thousand clusters available 21 million total a thousand uh pipe per cluster 21,000 mints, 21K market cap basically with gas around a dollar in Bitcoin sats. So it got sent. Oh, sorry. So pipe minted out uh, around 1.50 p.m. Pacific time on uh, Wednesday. It was announced 4.50 p.m. Pacific time. Eastern time would be 10:50 p.m. in Europe in early early morning in Asia, Australia. So, pipe came out, everyone's minting. And people are like, "How how am I get how do we bought it? 21,000 supply. 21,000 mints available. How the hell do we do we bought this? People just mint, minting by hand, you have to copy and paste the memo, the transaction hash and after you sent it from your Taproot wallet or your Unisats wallet. And of course, OTC immediately, it's trading at three cents or 30 X. So like 0.1 cents was the mint cost per each because you divide by a thousand. Again, I said a dollar for each cluster of a thousand. So you divide by a thousand, that's 0.1 cents. So already three cents, so that's 30 X. And then it seems like the going rate right now is five cents, so 50 X. Again, it was clear. You could have minted a hundred in two hours. It actually minted out in exactly four and a half hours. So again, I didn't mint it because I was looking for people, workers to do it, and I wasn't planned. It wasn't planned out. I didn't want to download some tool onto my computer and be exposed to so many crypto backdoors, password stealers, key loggers, etc. It wasn't worth it. But you can use VirtualBox next time. I just I just didn't have it set up, unfortunately. So I didn't download. I didn't, didn't mint, and therefore. I missed out on about 5,000 bucks, but that's okay. That's just one trade, basically. Hi. But it was definitely a winning trade, definitely an all-in play. If I could have bought it 1,000 mints, I could have made 50,000. But again, it's just OTC, and there's no OTC C deals. They're just reservations until an actual protocol comes up in a few days next week on how to transfer those pipe. So again, new, to new token, new technology, and Benny... The last three did crazy multiples tracked like 500x from it and tap did 50x or 90x from it and so we have pipe at 50x so again anything benny pumps in the group join the track discord you'll have access to it and just another tool in your arsenal to make money um the other news and brews friend tech so these farmers cbb O D E F something on their Twitter. They're giving their shares of whatever they farm. If you hold a key, you will hold a share, you hold a token, you hold a percentage of the, their Frentech airdrop, the top airdrop farmer and other protocols, of course, he joins Frentech. So uh, he got sniped at the point six ETH, I think last week when he joined. And now he's at five ETH or over five ETH, of course, it's just up only another person joined, but they got sniped at the one ETH. I think they leaked. That they were joining and now they sit at like three just these uh 
airdrop farmers, when they launch a share of their airdrop via their Frentech keys, you just have to buy them because they're up only. Now a third play where the person tweeted out, hey, if you own my key, you're going to get a percentage of a new token for the airdrop. And if you sell it, then you lose the airdrop, any points accrued. So uh, really interesting. So say you, you, you have 10 keys, you get 10 keys worth of airdrop, whatever percentage, say 100 keys, so you get 10%. Then you sell five keys, boom. You just lost for that period. You lost uh, half your points that you accumulated or 5% of the total. So like that. So you have to hold your, your keys until the final airdrop is distributed. Hey, buddy. And... That got sent from, he bought 30 keys at, for point, um, nine ETH, I think, 0.03 each. So you could have got in at 0 0.05, 0 0.04. Or did he buy 30 keys for 2.9 ETH? Yeah, I think that was right. So, yeah, really interesting there. So how do you, how do you catch people? Obviously, you can set up a scanner on X or Twitter. Uh, friend tech key sharing buy my keys just launched sort of like that and you you sort of over time over a few weeks you narrow it down if the metal lasts a few weeks sometimes it only lasts a few days but you have to narrow it down to the keywords that are going to pick up results even like etf but now it's coming from the sec website but before people weren't scraping um and sometimes the early leaks like hearing news that the futures, ETH futures ETF is going to be approved. You can scan uh, Twitter for futures ETF. But you have to be on it all day watching the feed. Like any feed, any monitoring, you have to have either yourself or pay someone to monitor 24 hours a day, pay a few people. So, again, the people that are going into the detail, looking at the data, these huge companies that have all these employees doing a different uh, aspect of the company to build it. And this is what success is. You hire the right people, you put in the time and you grind. So that's that's the key to success, grinding. If you're not a grinder, that's it, you're a gambler. It's either your grind to gamble ratio is gonna be how successful you are. And if you're not willing to put in the time to grind and you aren't willing to gamble, then you're just gonna be flat your whole life. At least you don't have volatility, but that's that. All. See you guys later. Thanks for watching. Shout out to my key holders and my YouTube commenters. Uh, Foundation, I saw you in the comments a few times. Other guys, good to, good to have you back in the comments. And I'll uh, see you guys on the other side. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. Ah, these, these are spiky leaves. Sorry. <laughs> this one looked really friendly. Yeah, yeah, they're all friendly. Except this, except oh. this black one. No, you can touch you can touch her, but not as good. <sighs> anyway, uh, there's always there's always so much to talk about, but I'm not gonna talk here. But so many plays, not enough time, right? Not enough bots set up to trade all these plays, but but you can if you want. And it's a good Saturday vlog update. Happy holidays to everyone. If you want to reach out, feel free to reach out. Friend tech, DMs. Friend tech, I'll respond faster probably. Or DMs. <laughs>